Thank you, Jesus, for this day. Thank you for giving Alejandra a timely word, Lord. I just pray that you speak through her and that she won't be speaking fleshly words, but your words, Jesus. And I just pray you open our ears to hear this message and our hearts to comprehend everything she's about to say. I pray that we use this devotional throughout our lives. In your name I pray, amen. Amen. Thank you, Ali. Okay, so my devotional is called, What Are You Waiting For? And I feel like I say this every time, but it's true. Um, I feel like I make devotionals or write the devotionals on things that I need to, like, speak or know in my life and stuff, you know? But, um, anyways, um, waiting isn't always, like, a bad thing until you let it become one. Because God puts us in so many seasons of waiting in our lives, and we learn to become patient through those seasons. Romans 6, 8, 25, the Passion Translation says, So because our hope is set on what is yet to be seen, we patiently keep on waiting for its fulfillment. And Psalm 41, the Passion Translation says, I waited and waited, and waited some more, patiently knowing God would come through for me. Then at last he bent down and listened to my cry. And I know I did a whole devotional on my... Um, you're not alone and it's true like god hasn't left your side he's always listening but he's waiting for you he's there he's just waiting for you but like why why do you why are we making him wait i guess is what i'm trying to say um but there's always going to be something that um, we have to let go of as we dive deeper into all that god has for us um and so, like, are you waiting for forgiveness? Like, that's one of the questions I, like, put there, but I didn't have any more. But anyways, like, are you waiting for forgiveness? Because you already have that. God gave that to you. Um, Romans, uh, yeah, Romans 4.25, the Passion Translation, it says, Jesus was handed over to be crucified for the forgiveness of our sins and was raised back to life to prove that he made us right with God. And so we have that forgiveness, like that shouldn't be something we're waiting for because when we lay ourselves down before God and we repent for our sins, we have that forgiveness. It's not something we should be waiting for. Um, here's a little story time. So throughout this week, um, mostly yesterday, I guess, I've been hearing like God saying like, what are you waiting for? And I'm like, what do you mean? Like, I was like, what? Um, but I was in my ELA classroom and my LA teacher, he loves Star Wars, and I know very little about Star Wars, but one of his posters I've seen like so often before because my band teacher had it on her door like every time. My middle school band director had um, this poster on the door as we left the room, and it says, do or do not, there is no try. And so I don't know why, but I stared at this thing for like 20 minutes until I realized that I would work to do, and I was like, oh, maybe I should do that. Um, but like it's nothing new and it's nothing that I haven't seen before so I was like well why am I looking at this and when I was looking at that I was like I was thinking I was like well what if I just stay here what if I what if I just like don't go anywhere what if I, what if I don't do anything like in reference to my relationship with God but I knew that wasn't an option for me like when we're playing cards like that wasn't an option to like play that card to like put that on the table and say I'm gonna play this card because me stopping and me giving up isn't something that I want to do it's never going to be an option for me because God is so good and so faithful like why would I do that um but even if I did there would always be something wondering on the inside of me um what if I did try what if I kept pushing and what if I kept going um, because there's always going to be a groaning in my spirit, in your spirit, for more. Um, so press for more. Don't ever wonder, what if I didn't give up on my pursuit? Because you'll wonder, and you'll wonder instead of actually walking through it and um, growing into a more mature person, both spiritually and physically. Um, 2 Timothy, sorry, 2 Timothy 3.16, the Passion Translation, it says, Every scripture has been inspired by the Holy Spirit, the breath of God. It will empower you by its instruction and correction. 
giving you the strength to take the right direction and lead you deeper into the path of godliness. And so continue on that path God has set before you because it's there for a reason. Even if you stumble along the way, like even if you fall, God's going to be right there to pick you up. He's not going to just like let you sit there and be like, are you going to help me? Or are you just going to stand there? That's not who God is. Psalm 37, 24, the Passion Translation, it says, If they stumble badly, they will still survive, for the Lord lifts them up with his hands. God is right there. He will pick you up. Like, it's not even a question. Um, so don't stop pressing for more. Don't let revival outgrow you. Grow with revival. And I know we hear that so much, but like, the moment you stop is the moment that revival is going to push past you. And you're going to stand there and you're going to see this amazing move of God and people like crying out and being so desperate for more. And they're going to be getting that revelation that you always wanted, but you never got. And so you're going to stand there on the sidelines and be like, why did I do that? Why did I not keep going? Why didn't I not keep pressing? Because that could be me right there. That could be me going into another level of what God had for me. You know, so don't wait until you get tired of waiting. If God has called you to go deeper then what is stopping you? And with that, I'll close this out in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for this word that you gave me today. Father, I thank you for letting me be able to share it with this group of people, um, with this group of people who will always be hungry for you, Father, with this group of people who will push me and push each other for more of you, Father. We will never stop growing and crying out for you, Father. Let us never become so caught up in our daily lives that we overlook you, Father, that we take you for granted because you will always be our first priority in all that we do, Father. And let us... <laughs> Never let us forget that, Father. I ask that you just let this word penetrate our hearts as we go deeper into new levels, into new territories that you've given us, Father. As we go on our daily lives, Father, that we may always seek you and put you above all else. In your name I pray. Amen. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed that video. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel. If you want to stay tuned in for more, be sure to hit that notification bell. And also, follow us on Instagram at shaken underscore vessels. That's all we have for today. Thank you.